Ollie. Come on in, you're all right. Yeah, good. What time's the first race? This clip-clopping commute is a favourite with the locals too. I love the donkeys. I just wish I was smaller. And then I'd be riding one in the second race. Come on. He might be too old to jump in the saddle, but Howard is well and truly rooted in the Paris of the North. This is my home, lived here 26 years, and I absolutely love it. I'm blessed that it's got quite a big garden, big enough to have a couple of horses and plenty of dogs, close to Blackpool, just love it. I'm not surprised, and Howard's made enough Blackpool brass to shell out for loads of other stuff too. This here is my Italian supercar. If James Bond was Italian, he'd be driving this car. Bond in Blackpool, the man with the golden mile. Now, these are my babies. If I had my way, I would have these in my living room. But she won't let me. Well, they wouldn't make a terrible mess of your carpet. They're just so gorgeous, aren't they? And to think they're nearly as old as me. Thank goodness for polish. Anyway, looking at this lot, I'd say you're not short of a bob or two, are you, Howard? My wallet's that thick that if you fell over it, you'd spend three days in hospital. It's fair to say that this granddad of four has a clean bill of wealth, but it wasn't always so. I came to Blackpool over 40 years ago now, with no shoes on my feet and no money in my pocket. The ambition was always to be a millionaire, and I got an idea one day when I saw a piece of derelict land. So I cleared it up, tarmacked it, and the rest is history. This is my car park. As the uh, old saying goes, where there's tarmac, there's brass. This will be rammed later, and I'll spend all evening counting the money. Don't fall over it, though, eh? Hello. Are you OK? I'll do you a great deal. We'll just charge you three quid. Howard's not waiting long to reel in his first customers. Whereabouts in Scotland are you from? Ayrshire. And he's got his very own brand of customer service he hopes will keep them hooked. When people arrive in Blackpool, I'll give them a joke to make them feel happy. My brother's working in Ayrshire today. Yeah, about And last night, he's a burglar. I don't know where he works. He just looks for empty houses. So I like to give them that little bit extra. I like to help them by making them laugh. It's not just wise cracks that have helped build this business of two Blackpool car parks. Every single penny that is in the bank has been earned by hard graft, long hours. And this wasn't done by Howard alone. This guy works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's about the best employee he can ever have. No, Howard, I was talking about your wife of 38 years, Elaine. Have you put plenty of money in the machine? And your granddaughter, Amy. Remember Amy? Oh, dear, I'm, I'm so sorry, ladies. We're good. But if there's one thing Howard never forgets, it's his love of this seaside town. I've dedicated my life to Blackpool. It's one of the best resorts in the world. Just get in here, quick. And he likes to share the love with his customers, especially if it means they'll come back to his car park. Before you get to the promenade, just on the left is a really good chippy. I give a service that no other car park attendant in Blackpool gives. And then across the road, next to the pier, is a place that sells ice creams and buckets and spades. And that service comes at a price that's music to the ears of us bargain-loving Brits. It's the cheapest car park in Blackpool, so there'd be fools not to come back, especially with me being so good-looking. 